Hello everyone, we are Tai Min Min and I'm Jun Rei from Team Auto Blazers. And we are participating in the RoboCup Singapore Open 2024, our Cap Coast Space Rescue First Steps U19 category. To start off, allow us to introduce ourselves. I have done robotics for nine years, and this is my sixth Coast Space competition since I started participating in RoboCup five years ago. As for me, I have done programming for six years in areas such as web development and competitive programming. Here is an overview of our sharing. We will begin with covering the executive summary of the challenge, strategies for an efficient robot, and finally, how to extend the knowledge gained in this challenge to the real world. So, what is this category even about? First, we will give an executive summary of the challenge. Here are some features for the typical Cool Space Rescue map. The Cool Space Rescue Challenge is a single stage where two robots race to collect and deposit objects and earn as many points as possible within a time limit of 5 minutes. In the process, the robot has autonomously navigate traps, the opponent, walls, and boundaries. Depositing in certain combinations earns you extra points too. Moving on to our strategies. Our strategies can be divided into two categories, those which are pre-coded and those which are coded when we receive the challenge map. Our first pre-coded algorithm is to determine coordinates which are more precise than those given by the simulator for some of the functions we will discuss later. We can pre-compute using image processing methods the readings of each ultrasonic sensor for each precise coordinate on the map at each angle. Then, based on the ultrasonic sensor and compass readings given by the robots, we can determine the coordinate it is at. However, this could result in ambiguity, as multiple coordinates can have the same set of ultrasonic sensor and compass readings. We thus utilize the other readings given by the robot, such as the less precise positions and color sensor readings too, and determine the most probable coordinates. For example, in the picture shown, despite both robots having the same set of ultrasonic sensor and compass readings, it can still distinguish between the two coordinates, since it will be in different positions on the map, along with the color sensor for the robot in a special zone reading a blue value. Next, targeting coordinates. To target a coordinate, we calculate the target angle using a given formula. We then drive the robot along this angle and perform trap and obstacle avoidance along the way. This will optimally traverse the robot towards the coordinate. Lastly, we can make use of the color sensors and the ultrasonic sensors to perform elementary traps, opponents, and wall boundary avoidance. Running into these obstacles will only slow down our robot further, which is suboptimal. We also have to account for tricky cases, such as on the corner of the walls. This is because both values on the left and right ultrasonic sensors will be extremely small, making our robot indecisive when it comes to figuring out where to turn to. On the day of the competition, we can consider map-specific strategies. Firstly, we can hard code some of the target areas, like where classes of objects spawn and the various deposits or special zones. This is done on the day, as we do not have the map beforehand. Furthermore, there are some forbidden maneuvers that involve going over traps and walls. This is because the robot cannot easily traverse through them as our targeting coordinates function only drives the robot along the incident distance between the current and target coordinates. We can thus target a series of coordinates to prevent the robot from trying to take a route that is restricted or non optimal then having to backtrack when it meets the obstacle. How can we extend the knowledge you gain to the real world? Here are some of the applications of our algorithms or the experience we have gained in the real world. Precise coordinate tracking is important in self-driving cars and other applications where we use limited sensor inputs to get the maximum data. In the real world, the hardware we use is also extremely important to improve this feature. Furthermore, targeting certain coordinates is important for traversing to a certain location in the real world. In terms of programming and math, Image processing, libraries, structs, file I.O. and others are key concepts that apply in many real-world applications. 
For example, processing data in real time from a camera for a self-driving car is crucial for its response to real-world stimuli. Finally, for soft skills, teamwork, perseverance and research is definitely applicable to the real world. Thank you for listening to our presentation. See you at RoboCup Singapore Open 2024 on the 6th and 7th of April.